At the moment, Fiji doesn't really have a tourism industry to speak of, which is a shame, because last year was a bumper record year for tourists visiting the idyllic destination. 77,000 people went to Fiji last year in April, 770 odd went just in last month. It leads the new tourism minister to say that it will be no return to tourism as normal anytime soon. The minister is Fayez Koya. He joins me now from Fiji. Minister, we heard earlier in our program today the plan of the Greek tourism minister to reopen the country. It's very detailed. Does Fiji have a plan to reopen tourism in the near future? Well, uh, Richard, yes, um, yes, it does. <clears throat> We've actually been uh, uh, doing a lot of work on our, our re-entry with respect to tourism. Uh, we act, the entire tourism uh, department at the ministry has been focused on doing a, a recovery paper, which, which is uh, uh, really essential for us. The Tourism Fiji has prepared a four-stage market re-entry. And uh, one of the most important things to us Richard, is, is our visitors that come from our neighbours, Australia and New Zealand, because they form a substantial part of our market. And we currently are right. in uh, negotiations with Australia and New Zealand with respect to joining a bubble. So um, that's, that's one of the most so you, important things for us. That's crucial. I mean, that is absolutely crucial that you become part of a bubble that would include the Anzac uh, countries, the existing Anzac countries. But uh, the problem, of course, again, is who wants to sit on a plane for eight to ten hours in this environment? I, <clears throat> um, as I said, what one uh, for us, it's the Trans Tasman thing that is extremely important. Uh, um, people who travel longer distances to come to Fiji form a smaller part of it. So the first stage of our reentry is targeted towards uh, the right. Australian New Zealand market effectively is about 70 or 70 to 80 percent of our uh, it's our first point of re-entry yes, uh, that we're actually my, my apologies. I just got to ask you, Minister, you're quoted as saying COVID-19 could be a way of Bhagwan, God or Allah's way of stopping what had become routine for most people. Did you say that? And if so, what did you mean by that? Yes, I did. It was actually a statement made in Parliament. And, uh, you know, on reflection, it's, it, it's something that everybody around the world needs to rethink about. It was relative to how we need to not just reset, but re, uh, reinvent how business is done. And even with us, with tourism forming such a, a huge part of our, uh, our GDP, it's about almost 40%. Everything needs to be re-engineered into uh, with with how we're actually going to do all of this after COVID has stopped and uh it, it's that's all it was it was just relative to that and you know our, our recovery you, documents sir. that I've... we're actually doing we will we will talk more in the future sir i'll promise you we'll talk again about fiji and how you are progressing in your recovery plan i'm glad to have had you on the program